The word evolution, uh, it's divided here into two words. We have the, uh, the uh, suffix shun, which means action. Whenever you see shun in a, world, in a word, it means an action is taking place. Conversation, manipulation, aggravation, agitation, action. And then we have evolve, which means to change, to grow, to adapt. So what is evolution? Our action, the action of adapting, the action of growing, the action of moving forward. And we could see that into many different perspectives. Into our personal perspective, it means to make the effort to better ourselves on a daily basis. And this is what uh, the spirit St. Augustine on the question 919 of, of, the, of the spirit's book suggests. Every day when you go to sleep, you make an analysis. This is a self-reflection. You ask yourself the question. Before you do that, ask your guardian angel to help you be honest with yourself. And that's a super challenge right there. Because uh, we have our ego. Our ego is the part of our personality that do not allow us to see the truth about ourselves. Why? Because if I see the truth of who I am, that requires change. So it's so much easier to see others are the ones who are the problematics. They are the ones who need to change because the, I can remain as is and I'm demanding change. So this is why we ask sincerely uh, through our prayers. You know, and how do we pray? It, it, we don't have to get a certain book. We don't have to hold anything. We don't have to be on our knees because the message is not heard if it's said in English, if it's said in Spanish, if we are on our knees. Uh, the condition for an efficient prayer, it's honesty, sincerity from our hearts. So you elevate your thought. This is like a phone call to your guardian angel. You know who I am. You know my challenges. You know my difficulties. So I am trying to be a better person here. Why? Because I'm tired uh, of experiencing this unhappiness all the time. I'm tired of being frustrated with people. Can you help me analyze myself coldly and rationally what I need to change? That's it. See? Something from the heart. A conversation. And after we have done that, and then you recollect your day. Those words that I say to my husband, was that needed? All that sarcasm. You know, did, did I quiet down the fight? Did I piece us? Did I piece us down? Or did I cause more irritation in him? And then we come to realize, well, my sarcasm provokes. Sarcasm is never healthy, ever. When we are sarcastic, we are saying something, meaning something else, that's where sarcasm is, that will always provoke people. So now I have to work on my sarcasm. So I need the strength tomorrow, if he provokes me again, I will allow him to be who he wants, but I will impose myself to be a better person. And how? I will avoid the sarcasm. On the following day, the, he starts provoking us, and you can see your tongue twickling. <laughs> that you want to say something back. <laughs> it's right there on the tip of your tongue. You bite your tongue, you don't say it. You know? On that same night, before you go to sleep, you make another self-analysis, and then you feel very content with yourself. Boy, I overcame uh, today. I overcame the, the urge of provoking him. Well, that's growth. That's a little bit of growth. I'm content with myself. And then we're not going to just realize the mistakes we have done. We're going to realize what we have also done something positive. We analyze our day. Our, uh, my mother-in-law was here at home today. Uh, yes, she said those things. And then I pretended I didn't hear. That was good. <laughs> I need to do more pretending, you know. Uh, that's like hearing with the third ear. Someone is emotionally disturbed. You're not going to allow their disturbance to bother you. And this is a constant exercise. And that's what we call evolution. Personal transformation. We will finally understand we don't have to conquer others. We need to conquer ourselves. Very easy. We men are experts 
in inflicting pain. Women are experts in uh, supporting, in holding, in understanding, in overcoming pain. This is why motherhood is given to women, not men. We can't handle it. The birth itself. Therefore, I will take that into consideration. And growth, it's a painful process. Why is it painful? It's not because God created pain in our lives. It's simply painful for the simple fact, sorry about the redundancy, simple, simply. It's simply painful because we get used to one level of being. And whenever we're called by life to continue to grow, we need to come out of our comfort zone. And since we are so comfortable in it, we call this effort that we have to make to get to the other step pain. It's not pain. This, it's a process of growth. And if we understand that this is for our betterment, we will stop calling it pain. We'll, we'll call it opportunity to develop the potential inside us. So that's personal evolution. Now, from the scientific point of view, what is evolution? Evolution is the transformation of the species to adapt to its environment. A bird that uh, lives here, it's predominantly from Maryland, he has a specific kind of beak. And why he has this specific kind of beak? Because the seeds available for that bird, uh, they are found here in Maryland. But the same kind of bird, the same species, if migrates to New Jersey, and he finds there not these seeds, but other kinds of seeds, throughout time, he will adapt his little beak to eat that kind of seed. That's scientific evolution. This is Charles Darwin. When he gets into the boat, the eagle, and he travels around the world, and the islands of Galapo Galapagos, he, in, in near Ecuador, he finds uh, different species of birds and turtles. I'm sorry, same species of turtles and birds that had little differences because they were trying to adapt to their environment. From the spiritist perspective, evolution also occurs in the spiritual side. You are an eternal, you are an immortal individual. You did not begun 40 or 50 years ago. The spirit that you are started its evolution to acquire patience, love, knowledge, free will, zeons of, of years before. And you are in this process. Not only are you helping the physical machine adapt to its environment, but in the process of doing that, you are growing intellectually and emotionally. So the evolution happens between two worlds. So Chico Xavier was a famous medium. He receives the doctor, the physician, Andre Luis, and this doctor writes a book through him that's called Evolution in Two Worlds. And that explains how evolution happens here on the physical plane and on the spiritual plane as well. And the more you dive into the knowledge, what you find is that the more you learn, you realize how much you don't know. Just like Socrates. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you. Thank you.